In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean the filter in your pop-up sprinklers. A lot of people will just replace them and that's fine because the filters are cheap, but if you need to get to them, the way to get to them is the exact same. There's only two tools I'm using, some needle nose pliers and some locking pliers. So the first thing you need to do is identify the sprinkler. Here it is. And then use your needle nose pliers and you're gonna grab just that lip right here. And that'll allow you to grab the head of the sprinkler. So once you grab that, lift it up and then lift it with one hand, with the other hand, get the locking pliers in place. And then now you can work on the sprinkler. You're gonna twist just the sprinkler head off. Once you twist the sprinkler head off, there's the filter right here. You can see how there's gunk that's on the filter. This is what we're gonna to wanna to clean off. So I just leave this up, put the sprinkler head right by it, and let's go wash this off. I'm just going to use the hose to wash it off. So let's turn the water on. There's this. Rinse off the big stuff, and if you need to use a little more power, you can use your thumb. All right, let's put the filter back on and then put the sprinkler head back on. We'll tighten it down there. Now we need to turn the sprinkler on to make sure it's spraying in the right direction. And then we might have to adjust. So we can take this clamp off, we'll let the sprinkler down, and then that will turn the sprinkler on and test it. Okay, you can see that it's not quite 90. I want it to twist it a little bit more, so I'm gonna to have to tighten it just a hair more. There we go, that's going the direction that I want it to go. All right, that's how you clean out the filter on your pop-up sprinklers. It's pretty simple, not too hard. I know you can do it yourself, so go to Home Depot, get some filters, give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Appreciate your support.